Hi, uh, my name is Darina. I'm the country chief risk officer for Standard Chartered Bank Malaysia Berhad. In the early days of my career, I dismissed the risk vertical as, as a job for those who are unsuccessful at boring. But over the period of time, I, I've come to appreciate that the CRO's day and her ability to contribute to the success of the bank and contain some of the risk, it, it's varied and valuable to the organization. Every day is different. Um, I can start the day considering the risks associated with the move of customer safety deposit boxes from one building to another, and then moving on to how we use technology to help mitigate fraud risk. How do we do more sustainable lending against a, a backdrop of climate change? The CRO role, I would help look at what goes wrong for the bank, what could go wrong in any situation, how we as a collective group can help mitigate the downside risk for our customers, our franchise, our staff, our partners, and our shareholders. So it's, it's a very interesting role which changes from day to day. I've had two stints in risk roles in my career. The first was an internal transfer where the bosses said, you're moving from sales to risk. And, and I promptly burst into tears thinking I must be such a failure that they've moved me to risk. The second time around was a conscious choice to take a C-suite role challenge. Now, if you think about it, traditionally, risk managers have been considered as barriers to business. Barriers one has to jump over or walk around. Increasingly, we are seen as business partners for our colleagues. And we bring in the risk, the voice risk of what could go wrong. How can we mitigate and how we continue to do this for long-term sustainability. Yes, there will be occasions where risk colleagues will not cross the line, but in discussions with our colleagues, early input into the process is key. It allows us to explore all the pros and cons and make conscious choices. I find that I cannot help the bank manage the risks I'm not aware of, so it's important to make sure that I continue to be accessible, and open to conversations and discussions and challenge. And so collectively, we can help get towards better risk management. I think this is true whether you work in the bank or in a finance institution, in insurance, in corporates, or even in running your own small businesses. You must always consider what could go wrong, how you can mitigate, and how do you build for long-term sustainability. Successful leaders nowadays come in many shapes and forms. Uh, many of us who find ourselves in leadership roles um, have not come through some predetermined path. The most successful leaders are the ones which exhibit some of these characteristics. Vision and commitment, a positive attitude and ability to embrace change and failure, great communication skills, including listening are some of the strengths I found in truly amazing leaders. Whether you are female or, or male, these are the traits that help open the doors, that help you find your own path to success. We all bring different things to the table. And it really is important to know your own strengths, your own weaknesses. And if you don't have a particular strength, make sure that you have team members who are diverse, who are not like you, so that you can leverage on their strengths.